Sandy drew an eight-inch long snake. Sandy decided to change the snake and erased five inches. How many inches long is the snake now? Let's draw this to visualize it. Let's make a red snake here. Yeah, that's not a very good snake. Maybe I'll give it a mouth to make it look more like a snake. There we go. Looks kind of like a worm, but oh well. So here's the snake, and she drew it originally, and it was 8 inches long. So we could pretend we have a ruler here, and that this ruler will go to 8 inches. One, two, oops, we're going to have to space this out a little bit better to make sure we could fit all 8 inches there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and 8. So, remember when we measure that we always start our measurement at zero and end it with the end, at this, in this case, at eight inches, wherever the end of the object is. Now, it says that she erased five inches. So, let's erase five inches from the snake to see how long it is. Erased one would be at seven, two at six, three at five. When we erase the fourth inch, you'll be at four. And when we erase five inches, our snake stops here. And now it is only, as we can see, three inches long. Really what we had right there was a subtraction problem. We started with eight inches. We took away five inches. Eight minus five is equal to three inches.